here we have a starter motor from a Volvo S90. It's already been replaced, the car is already gone, but uh, let's have a look inside why it went wrong. Ah, oh, well, that's not a good start. The switched positive, it shows burn marks, like serious amount of burn marks around the nut. The thread on the nut was crushed, and also if you look here, you can see how it arced out. That's basically electricity arcing out and removing a little bit of material. Okay, we're gonna get that off. We're gonna get the magnet off. And once we have the electromagnet moving, then we're gonna go for the body. It's got spring. And this is the mechanism. When you power up the electromagnet, so this is constant positive. This is the signal. It's gonna pull this steel rod in. And at the same time, because it's in a swivel, it's going to engage. Once it's engaged, like so, the metal bit inside is touching the other positive, which is gonna power up the motor itself. Yeah, usual causes are water ingress or when you're using the car on a short trip, it can condensate, which again is gonna be water ingress. Sometimes the copper coil touches either the core or another copper wire, which is going to result in short circuit. Okay, let's split this even more. Oh boy, that's a lot of dust. Now we will attempt to pull it out from the magnet. Here we have the brushes. The interesting thing is that it's actually spinning. There we go, yes. Usually this is the faulty part. The copper wires, they lose the cover over time and they short out. I can't exactly say that this is the case here. Can't see nothing wrong with this, but it did not start. But the new one did, so. This is 100% a faulty part. This is how a starter motor looks like from the inside. So because we're not gonna go any deeper, because basically I just wanted to show you how it looks like. If anyone knows what could be the failure, because there is no obvious evidence of this being faulty, let me know. You know, I'm happy to learn. Thanks for watching.